Smile and learn. Hi, friends. Welcome to my spaceship. Today, we're going to learn about how to find the square root of a number. Finding the square root is a mathematical operation that we do when we have a number and we want to know what number, when squared or multiplied by itself, produces that number. So, finding the square root is the opposite of squaring a number. In our example, the number we're looking for is the number 4. It's 4 because 4 squared is 16, the number we started with. Let's check it. If we multiply 4 by itself, or 4 times 4, the product is 16. Great! This fits perfectly with the definition. But what are the parts of a square root expression? Let's have a look. A square root expression is made up of these parts. The first part is the index. In our case, we are looking for the square root, so our index is the number 2. We can also find other numbers in the index depending on the type of root it is. For example, if we see a 3, it would be a cube root. Just so you know, sometimes there is no number where the index goes. If we don't see an index, that always means that it is a square root, so we can just imagine that it has a 2 as the index. This thing right here that looks like a box is the radical sign, which is what represents the square root. The number that we see inside the radical sign is called the radicand, which is the number 16 here. Lastly, the result is called the square root, which in this case is the number 4. Great, let's review. Index, radical, radicand, and square root. Good job! Now that we know what a square root expression is and the parts that make it up, we'll learn what we can do with it. Let's look at an example. We have a square tray with 25 cakes, and we want to know how many cakes are on each side. To find out, we have to think of a number that, when multiplied by itself, equals 25. That is, a number squared that results in 25. To calculate this number, we'll take the square root of 25, which is 5. We know this because 5 squared equals 25. Let's check the result. The horizontal side has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 columns, and the vertical side has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rows. As you can see, there are 5 cakes on each side of the tray. If we square that number, we get a total of 25 cakes on the tray. Are you up for finding a square root on your own? Here we have a cake with 36 pieces that are all the same size. How many rows and columns does our cake have? Time's up! Do you have an answer? Let's see. To know what number squared equals 36, let's have a look at this table. Where is number 36? Hmm... There it is! As you can see, 6 squared equals 36. This means that 6 times 6 equals 36. Let's check the result. The horizontal side of our cake has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 columns. And the vertical side has 1, 2, 3, 4, Five, six rows. Great work, friends. Now we know what a square root is and how to find it. It's snack time. I'm going to have a bit of this delicious chocolate cake. See you soon, friends. We've learned so much in just one video. Did you know there are many more videos? Imagine how much you could learn.
Subscribe to the Smile and Learn educational channel to learn and have fun at the same time.